Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! It's the first video of uh, 2022 and I'm so excited to see you here again, to be back again. Honestly, I couldn't wait to get back to filming and uploading new videos and yes, I'm just really happy to be back. But guys, without boring you even more, we saw the stories of my holidays, although we could talk about it maybe some other time. Uh, I just wanted to tell you about some rules and restrictions that are valid now for entering Italy and for just visiting Italy if you're planning on traveling here in 2022. Now guys, without further ado, let's get into the video! So guys, first thing first, and this thing is valid for everyone entering Italy, regardless of your country of origin or the country where you're traveling from. To uh, come here, you need to fill in the digital passenger locator form that you can download from the official website. I will leave you a link down below and you just have to fill it out. I honestly recommend you to print it because sometimes you might be required a printed version of it. And then we move on to other restrictions based on various countries, the country specific. So if you're coming from the European Union, guys, uh, you have several options, actually. I know that's weird because, you know, with uh, all the latest restrictions, it's weird to have options. <laughs> anyway, on a more serious note, uh, coming from the EU, you need to present your uh, green certificate, the green COVID certificate. I know that each country has its own name for this thing, but uh, it should state that you've either completed the full vaccination cycle or that you've recovered from COVID. And then you have to undergo a molecular swab within 48 hours before entering Italy or an antigenic swab within 24 hours uh, before your entry. Uh, this way you will avoid the self-isolation that is now mandatory for those who fail to present one of the two. So if you don't have the certificate or you don't have the swab, you can still enter Italy, but then you have to self-isolate for five days. I mean, I don't think you want to self-isolate for five days if you're visiting Italy as a tourist. So think twice before doing so, but you know your options. So the non-EU countries are divided between the list D and the list E. There are several countries like the UK, uh, the USA, Canada, Japan, Israel, South Korea, New Zealand, Australia, and several more countries. I will leave you a link for the full list uh, down below because I obviously don't remember all of the countries on that list uh, have the option to avoid self-isolation as well. In that case, if you're coming from those countries, uh, you still need to present the COVID certificate and the molecular swab carried out within 72 hours. Attention, in that case, you need to carry it out within 72 hours uh, before arrival, or uh, you, you can have an antigenic swab carried out within 24 hours before your entry to Italy. And in that case, you won't need to self-isolate as well. People who've been to the US, Canada or Japan within the last 14 days before entry to Italy can present an alternative of the uh, recovery certificate, if you have one, and then once again a molecular swab. If you don't have a certificate or a swab, you can still come to Italy, but you'll need to self-isolate for five days, similarly to the EU travelers, so it really doesn't make any difference. And then we pass on the list E countries, which is virtually the rest of the world. So visiting Italy for travel purposes for the list E countries or people who've transited or been to the list E countries within the 14 days before entry is currently prohibited. Uh, what you can do though is that if you are a European Union citizen but you've been to the list E countries you can still come to Italy and there are other options like having relatives here or uh, having uh, an address here. So there are various options. I will leave you a link down below so you can consult all of the cases in which you are allowed to enter Italy. So in that case, you need to present your uh, vaccination certificate, you need to present a molecular swab and you need to self-isolate for 10 days, regardless of whether you present it or not. You still need to self-isolate. So this is just how the things are right now with the entry requirement. However, there is still a bunch of things that I wanted to talk about because apart from the entry requirements, there are new rules uh, around the country and I think you really need to know them if you're coming to Italy now, especially in winter of uh, 2022. So just keep watching guys and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. 
The green COVID certificate stating the completed uh, vaccination cycle or a recovery from COVID is now mandatory for a bunch of places. For example, you needed to get on a bus or train or underground, virtually any public transportation in Italy. You needed to enter a museum or an exhibition. You needed to uh, take a cable car if you're skiing in Italy and you'll need it at the restaurant even if you are sitting outdoors. Moreover, from the 10th of January, it is also mandatory for a hotel stay. Moreover, you'll need an FFP2 type of mask, which is an equivalent of N95 or N99 in the US when visiting museums or using public transport. So make sure you stock on those uh, because, yeah, you might not be allowed to enter the place without it. Make sure you have them, trust me. Another thing that I recommend you, I highly recommend you, regardless of the restrictions and basically at all times, is to book your visit in advance. Guys, if you want to book a museum or an exhibition in Italy, make sure you book in advance or at least try to see if there is an option because some places actually have this mandatory rule right now to book your visit in advance. You need to find a free slot and book your visit for a certain time. Uh, especially now with the COVID rules that might limit the place's capacity even more than before. So guys, just make sure because otherwise you can find yourself in a very unpleasant situation where you go to the museum, you head to the ticket office and you find out that they run out of places. Happened to me just a few days ago on my trip to Trento. I wasn't able to find a free slot at the museum when I went right there. I didn't book in advance and I didn't get the chance to visit it. So. Take this advice from me, <laughs> book in advance, make sure you don't replicate my experience. I don't recommend you to do so. And actually, you can easily book everything from the place's website, so it won't uh, require any special effort, it won't require any special skills. Most websites have uh, the pages in English, so don't worry about it. Book your place in advance, secure your place and your visit. So guys, this is basically how the things are now in Italy. Mm, I think that it definitely takes away some fun if you are a lover of spontaneous trips, because I would certainly prefer something more spontaneous, but now, uh, you know, traveling to Italy is doable, but it requires some meticulous planning. However, if you put in an extra effort and book everything in advance and plan everything in advance and make sure that you have a plan and maybe even a backup plan, I'd say that you can travel to Italy without any trouble. Make sure you have all the certifications with you. Make sure you don't forget it in the hotel room. Uh, and well, other than that, this is the current situation. And as much as you like or don't like it, I think that's what we have and we need to adjust. I might not be exactly happy about it, but that's the situation. Hopefully the restrictions will be lifted at least somewhat in the upcoming months. Hopefully the situation will improve and traveling will become a bit more easier and maybe those wonderful spontaneous trips uh, will be an option once again quite soon hopefully they will be back soon and other than that guys this is the current situation so i hope it could be useful for you if you're coming to italy uh, in the upcoming weeks or even months and now guys don't forget to put a thumbs up comment and share this video with your friends please tell me what else would you like to see this year on my channel because i have lots of plans and i can't wait to share them with you also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I put up lots of videos uh, about life and travel to Italy and there are more travel vlogs awaiting you in the nearest future. And that's it for today, guys. Stay safe, travel more. I will see you on Monday with a new video and thank you for being here and enjoy your day.